Hi everybody. Happy Monday. Look who's joined me. Barney. <laughs> he literally, he was such a rascal this morning. He literally would not come downstairs. He knows it's cold out there. And, um, cause normally he's just running downstairs. He can't wait to get outside. But the last couple of days, <laughs> and it's not even snowing, but he literally just refused to come downstairs. <laughs> so I had to bribe him with a treat. <laughs> hi, Ildi. I know. Oh, hi, Atlas. How are you? <laughs> oh, are you ready for a nice, easy class today? I'm going to focus a little bit. Hi, Dan. I'm going to focus a little bit more on board basics today. Um, I know that, you know, I'm getting comments because it's it's tough, right? Because everybody's at a different level. So we as instructors are just setting a, a guideline, you know, and it really is up to you to just go at your own pace and listen to your body and do what feels comfortable for you, okay? I know, you know the rules. Hi, hi guys. How's everybody doing today? Are you ready to start the week off right? I am, so I'm gonna launch right in. Barney, you gonna be a good boy? Okay, good. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm gonna put on some music and let's launch in. Okay, so first I'm just gonna do some nice ankle rolls. So just come up on the ball of that foot and rotate that knee out. Just nice and easy. And that standing leg stays bent. Keep the board center. And then opposite direction. So I want you to go through that full rotation, okay? Just feel every bit of that coming all the way up on the balls of your feet. This is also great because it's warming up our hips. And one more time here and then relax and we're going to switch. Nice, easy rotation, inch by inch, feeling every bit of that, okay? Did y'all have a good weekend? It's pretty exciting to see that the vaccines are finally being distributed, right? That there's a light at the end of the tunnel. This is really good. Now we're taking the opposite direction. We got a bunch of snow the last couple of days, which has been lovely. So it's very chilly outside today. And one more time here, and then relax. Now we're gonna go into calf raises. Come all the way up on the balls of those feet. Hi everybody. I wish I had like a zoom so I could see who's popping in. <laughs> Lift and press those heels down. You know, this board is so great to improve joint stability and to really um, prevent all kinds of injuries, whether it be with your ankles or your knees, your hips, your low back. So not only, of course, is it improving your balance and agility and that mind-body connection, but it's so preventative, you know, for those nasty falls, God forbid, right? Lift and lower. And one more time, let's hold it at the top. Release. And then just march it out just nice and easy if you don't want to march you can just go into the step it's up to you and now we're just going to do a simple knee lift so if you can bring it up hip level that's great just 
Just focusing a little bit more on those hip flexors. Just starting to wake up your body, get that blood circulating into those muscles and joints. And always trying to maintain that board being center. Lift, lift. And use your breath here, don't hold your breath. Relax your shoulders, relax your hands. For four, and three, two, and one, and then back to the step, press, press. And now we're gonna warm up our hamstrings, so bring your feet a little wider apart. Heel to butt cheek. Nice and easy. So exhale as you curl that leg. And just relax your abdominals here. For four and three two, and one, then side step it here. You can come down a little lower, just now focusing a little bit more on our outer thigh, our abductor. Keep that board center, relax those shoulders down. Just a nice step touch. For four, and three, and two, and one, then back to the step, press. Now just starting to warm up our inner thigh, we're gonna do a cross step onto the board, stepping behind first the number one. So first stabilize, with the heel tap behind the number one, cross over behind the number one. We're gonna keep that going. So now I do want you to engage your abdominals. Your knees are soft. And just take your time and place that heel. Toe up. And now we're gonna to go to position two. Keeping that board center. Use your breath. One more on the two. And now we're gonna move on to the three. Step and step. Take your time. I really love this because you're really warming up. Not only your inner thigh really, but your whole lower body. And start to working that brain body connection. But relax those shoulders and try not to take a tight grip on those poles, okay? One more each side. And back to the step. You starting to feel a little warmed up? So now we're gonna step center and press forward. So first we're gonna stabilize, step up to that middle line, press forward, push back. And we're just gonna alternate. So I want you to start to really feel that center balance, press forward, got that? Are you feeling a little more stable? Okay, one more on each side. 
Good, now back to the step. Okay, now we're gonna go into a V step. So we're gonna step up behind the three and three and then down and down. So it's gonna go like this. Step up, step up, down and down. Let that board drop. Okay, so you're stepping wide, board drops, drop, down and down. But I do want you to keep your chest lifted and your shoulders relaxed. And just take your time. Keep going. I'm sliding a little bit. One more each side. Now stay up on three and then three and rock side to side. And then when you're feeling ready, let's find that center balance. Engage your core. Keep those knees nice and bent. Breathe. Then drop the board to the side, step down and down and back to the step. Now we're gonna lead with the other foot. So we're gonna do that same thing, the V step, but we're gonna lead with the opposite leg. So step up, step up, bring it down and down. That's right. Just let that board drop and you can go at your own pace here. You can look down, but when you're feeling like you've got it, then you can look straight ahead. But safety is key, right? You got that? Drop, drop, step it down. We're gonna do one more on each side. Then back to the step. And then we're gonna step behind the two and the two. So we're gonna do that same thing for stabilize. Two, two, down and down. We're leading with the right now. So all of these exercises are great board basics, but they're really great to properly warm up your body. Just really starting to get confident with placing your feet and feeling that connection. How are you doing? You feeling warm yet? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Nothing like a little exercise to start the morning off right. One more on each side. And then we're going to hold it up behind two and two and rock side to side. You can go faster if you like. You don't have to, but when you're feeling ready, let's find that center balance. Drop those shoulders, retract that chin inward, engage your core. Breathe. You got it? Holding it a little bit longer this time. Breathing. You got it? Struggling a little bit. Here we go. Rock side to side. Then hold the board down, step down and down, back to the step. Okay, we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna lead with the other leg, going behind position two and two. First, stabilize always. Step up, let it drop. Let it drop down and down. Now, if you wanna speed this up, that's up to you. But just make sure you're placing that foot 
pressing your foot flat behind that number two. And one more time. And then step. As always, if you need to get a quick drink of water, that's totally okay. Because now we're going to do one more set. We're going to go behind the number one. So first, we're stabilizing. Get that board center. Step behind the one. Drop. One. Drop. Down. And down. So keep that going. Slow or fast. It's up to you. I've been watching all the comments about how we're going to paint these numbers in different um, colors. So I had an idea just because I was doing an arts and crafts night the other night with my girlfriends and we were making like homemade cards and stuff. Strictly out of boredom, you know. Um, but I have these glitter glue pens in different bright colors and I thought, hmm, I wonder if that would work. It might make a mess though. So listen, if it doesn't work, don't blame me. I'm just, I'm just bringing it to the uh, comment list or the suggestion list. <laughs> okay, one more on each side. Then step up again behind the one and one, rock side to side, a little ski action. Have you been skiing yet? Does anybody ski in this group? I bet the conditions are amazing here now in Colorado. I think I might have to get my snowboard out. I bought one when I first moved here to Denver like seven years ago. Beautiful, right? I've used it twice. <laughs> never get anybody to go with me during the week you know everybody's working okay now let's find that center balance here we go stabilize drop those shoulders and now if you're ready let's go into a squat just push your hips back you can do a partial squat or a full squat it's up to you but I do want you to take your time. Really make sure that chest is lifted. Push those hips all the way back. Don't let the knees bow out or come inward. So if you just wanna go here and up, that's okay. You can work into a full squat. You are really engaging your core here using your breath picking that focal point helps and squeeze the tush a little bit at the top without throwing your back into it okay press squeeze how are you doing you with me let's get three more Okay, one more time. And bring it up, squeeze, and rock side to side. <sighs> that felt good. Okay, now open it up to two and two. And then just step. Step and touch your calf. Just work it out a little bit. <sighs> Relax those shoulders. For four and three and two and one then side to side come a little lower if you'd like and then drop the board to the side step down and down okay get a quick drink of water We're going to move into our next exercise. So first we're going to come to the side of the board, drop it down. We're going to step up to that middle line, 
Make sure you're stable before you step up with the other foot. And then we're just gonna go forward and back first, but I want you to think about those pressure points. So you are pushing into the balls of your feet and then into the heels of your feet. But look how bent my knees are. And then when you're feeling ready, I want you to go into that calf raise and toe raise. Okay, so we're gonna lift and lift. Come all the way up and then lift your toes. Oh boy, I'm limited with that range of motion. That's crazy, that dorsiflexion is, needs some work for me. <laughs> A little ankle rehab. Lift, lift. Do you have the right shoes on? I'm, I'm just definitely taking it for granted and assuming that you do <laughs> have good, solid rubber to rubber soled shoes that really fit you properly. Okay, we're gonna do four more. Lift, two, and three, and then hold the calf raise. Engage your core. If you feel confident, take your hand off and breathe that focal point. And then relax. How did you do? Okay, now what we're gonna do is drop the board. We're gonna step forward and step back. So we're in a little bit of a stationary lunge position. And you're gonna rock forward and back again, really thinking about those pressure points on those feet so the heels are not coming up. Relax your shoulders. And then when you're ready, we're gonna find that center balance, okay? Here we go, stabilize. It really helps me as always, to pick a focal point. I'm pulling my abs in really tight, breathing. Whew. Okay, forward and back. How did you do there? Are you getting stronger? Is it getting easier? Are you new to the 60 up? Let me know, okay? Four, three, two, and one. Then hold it down, step forward, step down, and down. Okay, now we're gonna switch to the other side, so first, Drop that board, step up center, and then bring up the other foot. Forward and back, press into the toes, into the heels, toes, heels. Chest is lifted, shoulders dropped. And if you're feeling comfortable, feeling confident, let's do the calf raise and the toe raise. Lift, lift. Are you able to come all the way up on the balls of those feet? Really working those calf muscles and then lifting those toes as much as possible to work those shins. Lift, lift. Four, three, and two. Hold it up, hold this calf raise, stabilize. And if only if you're feeling confident, take your hand off. Really working on your breath. focus 
on holding that for three slow healing breaths, that's a great goal. Now hold the board down, step forward, then step back. Press that back heel into the board, forward and back. For four, press, three, two, and one, then hold it center, engage that core. And then forward and back. I was so much stronger on that side. How about you? For four, and three, and two, and one. Hold the board down, step forward, step down, and down. Okay, I do want you to get a quick drink of water. And then if you haven't already, I want you to put the bands, the short bands in the front and anchor them, okay? And that means we have to move the poles into the inside slot. So I'm going to do that now. And okay. Good. Stabilize the board first with help. And then make sure to slide those handles up. Okay, you got that? Make sure it's all good. And then what I want you to do is take the longer bands and put them on the outside. I'm using my yellow. And if you don't know how to put the, put the bands in yet, what you're gonna do is take this loop and you insert it in the slot feed it through, and then you take the handle and put it through that hoop, and then you just pull until it anchors in. Easy enough, right? Oh, thanks, thank you. Okay. All right, find that balance, find that center, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna step up behind the two and the two and just go side to side. Nice and easy here. And then when you're ready, we're gonna find that center. Pull your abs in, drop those shoulders, breathe. And then what we're gonna do is take the handles off, keep the palms facing inward. Hinge slightly from the waist. So push those hips back just a little bit and you're going to go into that double row. So just keep that focal point. Keep those abs engaged. Exhale at the top and really think about wrapping those back muscles together, scrunching those shoulder blades like you're cracking a walnut in between your shoulder blades. So try not to let those elbows come out to the side. Pull your abdominals in tight. Exhale at the top. So always listening to your body, just doing the best you can. And if this is too easy, you know you have to upgrade to the next level for the resistance bands, right? Really working those stabilizers. 
I mean, this is a full body workout because I'm working my core, I'm definitely working my lower body, and of course with the bands, I'm working my upper body. Strengthening and building that endurance. Let's get four more. And then hold it at the top. Hold. Are you with me? And really slowly. Let's go set those back down and then rock side to side. How did you do? Let's just step and tap the calf muscle. Relax those shoulders. And if you'd like to just release the arm, but only if you feel good about that. I don't want you to stumble. It takes a little bit of coordination. So it's okay if you wanna go super slow. It's okay, but you don't have to do the release if you don't want to, okay? That's just an option. I like to release the shoulder in between. Feels good. And one more time. Good, okay, now rock side to side. And then when you're ready, let's find that center balance. And let's grab those bands and we're gonna go into biceps. So you need to anchor that elbow, tuck the pelvis under, engage the core, and keep that wrist solid. So no flexion and extension in that wrist. Keep your chin retracted inward and really control it. <clears throat> Exhale up. Control it down. Really working those biceps. Feel that? You know, when I see the comments about comparing this to a styrofoam piece of <laughs> material or the wobble board, I just cringe because there's no way that you could remotely do probably one tenth of the amount of exercises you can do <clears throat> with the 60 up <clears throat> and the stability of the board with the bands. All right, I'm really feeling it. We're gonna do two more if you got it in you. And then hold it at the top. Release it slow. Anchor those back in and let's rock side to side. Oof. <clears throat> Here goes the cough. Dan, are you like me? Like, <clears throat> I don't know what it is. <clears throat> it's like halfway in. The frog jumps down my throat. <laughs> that's all about but I apologize because I know that's really annoying <laughs> okay let's step and tap step and tap and we're just gonna do two more and then we're gonna find that center balance right away okay here we go let's do it right into it you got that breathe And if you feel good, let's go into a calf raise. Ooh, this is tricky. <sighs> While maintaining that center balance. Can you do it? Hey, listen, if you need to walk your feet in a little bit to one and one, that's okay. Lift, lift, four. <laughs> Three, oh my goodness. Two, last one. Hold it up there. Ah! Can you take one hand off? I don't know if I can or not. I really don't know if I can do the other hand, but 
I'm gonna try. I'm focusing, I'm concentrating. Hey, how about that? Release, rock side to side. I feel pretty good about that. You know, because look, I'm live. <clears throat> I can't see you, I'm giving these a try, not knowing if I'm gonna fall on my face or not, so it's encouraging, but I just can't stress enough that you listen to your body. Only do what you feel confident and safe to do, okay? And just a couple more, and then drop the board. Step down, step down. Let's go into a step. Let's do those big arm circles back. Keep that board center. Two more times. Good, okay, roll the shoulders up and back. And you're gonna get a quick drink of water and then we're gonna launch into the next exercise with the longer band attached to the side of the board. <clears throat> Drop the board to the side, step up to the two, step up to the two, rock side to side. And then when you're ready, find that center balance. So first we're just gonna bring it out in front of you, palm down, pull your abs in, lift, go to the side, and go to the front and the side. Keep those abdominals in tight. Breathing. Keep that chin retracted inward. Drop your shoulders. Keep that board center if you can. One more. And then just set that back on the handle, rock side to side. Release, release. And then again, we're gonna find that center balance. We're gonna unhook again. Now this time, we're gonna cross it into an external rotation. Then we're gonna press it up. Shoulder press, but look, I'm not doing a full extension on my arm. And that elbow is directly to the side of your shoulder. Don't let that elbow go behind your back. Keep the hips tucked under. Keep those knees bent, retract that chin inward. This is a, a little bit more of a tougher exercise, so don't force it. Two more times. And then hold it at the top. Release it slowly and then place it and rock side to side. Okay, let's just put our fingertips on our shoulder and we're just gonna do circles. Release, release, press side to side. And then roll the shoulder back. So look, just my fingertips are placed on the shoulder for four and three and two. Last time here, drop the board. Step down and down. Let's go into a step. And now we're gonna grab the other handle. And we're gonna step up again behind the two, drop it, two, Drop side to side. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for Barney to uh, <clears throat> trip on either the cord to the light or the cord to the Christmas tree. 
<clears throat> so far, so good. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, now, are you ready? Let's find that center balance. Abs in tight. You're going to bring the arm in front of you. Tuck that pelvis under. Drop the shoulders. Lift. Side. Front. But look, I'm not above my shoulder. Stabilize that lower body. Use your breath. And don't let the band come behind your back. And keep it up shoulder height. Two more times. And then set that down, rock side to side. For four, three, two, and one. Find that center. Take the band. Do an external rotation. Tuck that pelvis under. And just go into a shoulder press. Exhale up. Always exhale when you exert your energy. This is tough. So be patient with yourself, okay? If you have to stop, it's okay. Let's get two more if you can with good form. About that, okay, fingertips on the shoulder. Just do circles. This is a really great shoulder release. I love it. And then you can go in the opposite direction. <laughs> For four and three, two. And one, and rock side to side. For four, press, three, press, two, and one. Now hold it to the side, step down, and step down. Release the arms, roll the shoulders. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the board around. We're gonna work with that foot activator for a few exercises. So just be careful and turn it. See how I'm keeping my chest lifted when I turn it? If you have somebody nearby to assist you with that, that's pretty good. And see when I come down, it's always like this. I never want to come down and pick anything up like this. You always kind of want to come down, bend, if you can, to, to do any kind of picking up. Use the power of your legs to get back up. <clears throat> okay, so first we're going to do the rotations on the foot activa uh, activator. I can't speak. <laughs> Center that board. Bring the ball of your feet on the top. Now look, the standing leg stays bent, and I want you to do a full rotation. Just work the ball of your foot. Come all the way up into the arch of that foot, working that ankle. And keeping that board center. That's key. Don't lock out the standing leg. You're going to be tempted to do that. And don't concentrate so much that you start hunching up those shoulders. We're always thinking about our posture, right? So you want to depress those shoulders down, retract them back. 
Keep that standing leg bent. We're just gonna do a couple more here. Feel that rotation. And then hold it center and you're gonna keep that ball, your, the ball of your foot on that squishy ball. Now you're gonna pitch forward slightly. Now this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> so just do the best you can because we are gonna try to come into a one leg balance. So look, first I'm trying my best to stabilize. Pressing forward. Pick that focal point about six feet in front of you. Press all the weight forward and then if you feel good, try to go into that one leg balance. Oof, this is tough. I would say this is more of an advanced move. But I kind of like the fact that you can see how hard I'm struggling. So this is obviously where I need some improvement, right? How are you doing? I need feedback. Are you able to do this? Are you struggling like I am? Okay, I think I managed to hit it for maybe half of a second. Step down and down. Just bring the knee up. That was a challenge. I like challenges though. You gotta challenge yourself. It's the way to make progress. If it's always super, super easy, then how are you supposed to build that strength and endurance, right? Okay, are you ready to do the other side, the other leg? Okay, first we're gonna stabilize. Bring that ball of your foot, and we're just gonna go into those rotations. I'm really working the heck out of my foot, <clears throat> my ankle. <clears throat> While trying to keep that board center, so working those proprioceptors too, right? I love how the board really encourages and promotes more inner focus, right? Puts you right in the present moment. Mindfulness, that's where it's at for wellness. Okay, one more time, and now I'm going to try my best, like you are, <clears throat> to center that board. Stabilize, engage, press forward, and when you're ready and confident, only if you are, try to lift. I can't imagine why I'm stronger on my left leg. So crazy. Dan, I'm right-handed. Usually I would think my right side would be stronger. I wonder, how about you? I just think I'm able to do this side a little bit better. Breathe. And then step down and down, whoo. Let's just go into a little bit of a cool down, shall we? Heel to butt cheek, kick your butt. <clears throat> Somebody's gotta do it, might as well be you, right? Four, and three, and two, last one. Let's step side to side. How are you feeling? This is a pretty good workout, right? Four and three and two and one. Then hold it center and just do a knee up. Nice and easy for four and three and two and one. Good, then release and let's go feet a little wider apart and release those arms, circle.
two more times. And then we are going to go into our chest stretch. Roll the shoulders back. Press the shoulders down. Lift the arms just as far as you can or as high as you can. And hold this and breathe. Remember to focus on that seven count breath in through the nose. Holding the breath for four beats. Exhaling slowly through the mouth for eight counts. Then release those arms and just roll the shoulders back. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Squeeze and release. Just work it out. For four, three, two, last one. And now we're going to go into our quadricep stretch. So step in close. Bring that left leg up. Grab your ankle if you can. Glue those knees together. Tuck the pelvis under. Press the hips forward. Standing leg stays bent. Just stabilize here. And send that breath into your quadriceps. Visualize that breath coming in with healing light. And as you exhale, just try to go a little deeper into the stretch, releasing, relaxing into the stretch. The more you press your hip forward, the deeper the stretch. And then release that leg slowly and step all the way back, pushing that heel into the floor. And use this pull and just get a deep stretch in your calf muscle. Again, you're sending that healing light in with your breath into your calf muscle. Hold the breath and then exhale slowly and sink deeper into that stretch. And then slowly releasing out of that and coming to the other side. <clears throat> Bring your knee up, grab your ankle, press those knees together, make sure the knees are on the same level. So what I mean is that knee's not forward and it's not back. Your knees are together, press the hip forward and breathe. Release it and step all the way back. Push that heel into the floor and just breathe into your calf stretch. And then slowly releasing out of that. And then just kick it out a little bit. Release. We're going to go into our shoulder stretch. So bring that arm in front of you. Just press it across your body. Hold and breathe.
and then release, release. And we're gonna switch. Remember, don't lock those knees out. Keep that pelvis tucked under. And release, release. Really just let it go here. Bring your feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna go into our bicep stretch. So keeping those palms up, get a really nice long stretch, tucking that pelvis under, chest is lifted and breathe. And then release those arms and shake them out. Roll those shoulders up and forward. Squeeze and release. This always feels so good to me. One more time. And then we're gonna interlock our fingers behind our back, our head. Push our head into our hands, tuck that pelvis under, press those elbows back, hold and breathe. And then slowly releasing. And let's go into shoulder shrugs, squeeze up, retract those shoulders to press them all the way down. Squeeze up to the ears, retract and depress. Squeeze and release. Squeeze that tension and then let it go. Two more times. And then place your hands on top of the poles, walk back, keep your knees soft, and just make sure your arms are nice and long, and then just slowly hinging from the waist to a flat back position. Hold and breathe. <clears throat> If you'd like to straighten your legs for a hamstring stretch too, that's great, but you don't have to. Keep your neck nice and long. Your spine is straight. And then slowly start coming up, walking forward. And then again, <clears throat> just release those arms, release. Two more times. And good job, you guys. Cheers. How did you do? <clears throat> How do you feel? Let me just come on over, see what's happening here. I'm so glad you liked it, Craig. Awesome, Ildi. Atlas got tired just watching.
I know. Barney is like snoring over here on the couch, so. <laughs> I can't see everybody else's comments, but as always, I will pop in after and I will look at everybody's comments and um, and reply if necessary. I hope you all have a wonderful day. For those of you who live in colder climates like I do, stay warm, <laughs> stay healthy, stay strong, and um, I will look forward to seeing you on Friday. Have a beautiful day. Thanks, Betsy. I'm glad you liked it. Bye, everybody.